All right, today we're going to be doing a GCEP tutorial. We haven't done this in probably two weeks. Super busy, but we are back. And I think this is one of those very good GSEP effects that we have done on this channel. It has that wow effect. That's all we need and that's all we want. And it's a scroll effect combined with Lenis. So if you already use Lenis on your website, I would recommend to remove Lenis basically the lens that I provided as snippet on this channel and just implement this. Make sure that you only have this implemented. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so we are in Elementor, obviously, <laughs> and we're going to create a container. We're going to add a container to the page as we always do, a full width container with a height of 100 VH. All right, so let's publish this and inside this container we're gonna add another container and this container will have exactly the same settings yeah and 100vh and we are going to give this container a class so this class is going to be very important because will be present in the code itself so i'm gonna call this pinned okay you can call it whatever you want make sure that you replace this in the code otherwise as you know it will not work all right so i'm gonna add in this container i'm gonna add a few images and a video because this works amazing with video uh, with the video widget from elementor so let's look for the image sorry image like that add the image in here can be any image i'm gonna go with this one what i will do is i'm gonna actually change the color of the background of my whatever page i'm gonna have something else so you can see the difference in the change of images because since this has a black background uh it doesn't look really that prominent i would say all right so we're not gonna set any settings on this image except for setting this align self center and that's about it because we're going to be adding the width and height in the CSS code. It's much easier to control it. It's not much easier, but it's like I would pre I prefer that it's somehow it does not work very well with the code. If you set it in the elemental settings, unfortunately, can not explain it. Why don't ask me? I don't know. I've tried it and it seemed like the images were not appearing immediately uh sometimes or sometimes they didn't appear at all and they appeared if you refresh the page i have no idea that's the problem when you work with a wordpress code elemental code and your own code sometimes things just have no explanation anyway so i'm gonna give this uh, image a class and i'm gonna call it img all right you can call it whatever you want and i'm gonna duplicate this a few times let's say three times i think it's not for this example okay i'm gonna replace the images let's say this or this all right that one yep okay i mean they're not the same size but who cares i think it's important to have them as the same size if you're gonna have them somewhere on your website make sure that's correct yeah and i am going to add a video widget here as well i'm gonna leave it on autoplay because this is pretty cool um mute loop don't show privacy mode player controls no we don't want that all right so i think that's about it let's set the, the width oops our custom we want it to be not so big and move it in the center so basically more or less the way the same size as the image underneath or let's move it here i'm gonna move it at some point during the demonstration i'm gonna move it at the top of the page so you see when you load the page how it looks okay i'm talking too much uh publish this and now i'm gonna let me see set a class of image although it's not an image this can be again anything you want it to be uh, on the video otherwise this will not work and publish again so now we are sort of ready to add our code all right so i'm gonna go all the way down and grab an html widget and dump it all in here okay 
So what we know, what we need here. First of all, we need a scripts for the GSAP, the scroll trigger of the GSAP effect and Lenny's. Okay. And as you can see here, we have our pinned container class, which is this container. Yeah. And what else do we have here? The class for the images and the video, obviously. This could be something else. As I said, make sure that you change it. If you change it there, you have to change it everywhere, but not here. This is not the class. This is the selector, the HTML selector of the HTML. So it's getting the selector of the HTML here. All right. That's confusing. So I would suggest that you change this if it's confusing to you to something else that it's not related to images. All right. So a class, if you don't know this, uh, you have no, never worked with, with CSS. The class is represented by a dot, as you can see here, right? And here we don't have a dot. Yeah. Okay. I hope that made sense. All right. So I think pretty much that is it. Nothing else that you need to change. Like, yeah, of, of course you can change the scrubbing effect which makes the animation to be smoother, but I think it's smooth enough due to Lenny's. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. I would leave everything the way it is. Of course you can experiment if you want, delete, cut, whatever you want. All right. So that's part of the code. We need to add some CSS code. Let's see if this works. It's not going to work that well. As you can see, the images are not working as they should. So we need to add our CSS in. All right, so I'm gonna go to advanced, go all the way to custom CSS and drop my CSS in here and boom, everything disappeared off the page. And now you cannot change anything. <laughs> you can, of course you can, but you don't see what you're doing. So, all right, that was good. That was better. Let's see. Oh yeah. As you can see, CSS is extremely, extremely important. And we have this issue, right? When it comes to an end, the scroll comes to an end, it has this sudden jump to it. Look at it now. And this you can change with a small piece of code. Okay. So I'm going to go in the parent container and I'm going to go to custom CSS and drop this in here. And let's give it another try. Okay. On load. Very nice. On scroll. Very nice. So far. So good. And that's it. It worked perfectly this time. Okay. Another thing I want to do is add a container here at the end. Okay. So I'm going to just paste my container because I already have it ready. Another thing that I want to do is have everything in this container to be set at the center. All right. Center, center, center here and here as well. Center, center, center. All right. Publish. Let's give it another look. Boom. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling again, scrolling, scrolling. And once it's done, the next section comes in and so on and so forth. So yeah, also this effect can be used on another section. For example, of course you need to adjust it to have the loading effect. So when you load it, you see that it does this image reveal. Yeah. If you want to have that effect as you scroll, you have to adjust the code. Otherwise you can leave it like this. And as you scroll, this effect will take place. So let me give you an example. Let's go back. And I'm going to go to the uh, parent container. I'm going to give this some space at the top because otherwise I cannot add another container. I know this is so weird. Anyway, I'm going to drop another container at the top. Yeah, this is just the beginning. Okay, 
I'm going to publish and let's have a quick look. So container container. Okay, good. Let's reload. So there was no um, animation load yeah, because it already happened when the page loaded. And this is working. This is working. Yep, pretty much that's it. So I'm going to remove this container. Yeah, delete the container and I'm going to move the video here and I'm going to give this video some more width. Let's say 80. Fair enough. Let's see how this looks. Actually, I have to do another thing. I have to remove the top margin. So the video basically lands in the middle. Let's just have another look. Reload. Yeah, okay. It wasn't that um, interesting, the load animation, as it is on images when they load, but it's not bad, I would say. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. And the effect that it gives you as it just scrolls out of the frame, <laughs> I think it's pretty nice. Okay, so let's go over the CSS here because this is very important in terms of how you're going to change the size of the images because this might be something that you might want to do. So let's say, as you can see, this is the portion of the code where you need to change. You can change the position of the images and the width and the height. So let's say we want it to be 65. I don't know if they're bigger than... Let's see how big they are. Yeah, okay. We need to give them some height, uh, some yeah height. But yeah, we're getting there. Okay, so let's say height, let's say 90%. All right. The video, pretty big, yeah. We're scrolling and we're scrolling. This is very nice. I think if you have something very uh prominent like a fashion website or product website that is just one product and you have this kind of section where you can highlight the product details uh this would be very interesting probably different use cases obviously but this is something that just came to mind yeah so I think this is pretty cool and it works also on mobile so you might have to write some media queries for the CSS for this particular case where you have width and height so you have a different size on mobile and tablet you can do that very easily if you don't know any css and how to do media queries you can do that very easily with uh chat gpt i didn't have time to write them but that's the gist of it so you would have to obviously anyway adjust the width and the height of the images on mobile according to your use case, depending on the size of your images initially. Other than that, it works great. So there you go. I hope I covered everything. Anyway, the code will be in the description below. And yeah, give me some ideas about the GSAP effects that I could do that you're interested in and not something too complicated because <laughs> they're taking forever to make. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.